Question six, the first focus is that you can see that there's a letter called K in front of X squared. That means you need to have extra steps later on. The extra steps will depend on the face of that quadratic graph. We will come to that later. Keyword is the word called negative. Okay, now just ignore the word real values. This is not important. The word real is important only when you see the friend called real roots. Real roots will be case four. Real values is just not important. Keyword is the word called negative. So number one, catch a keyword. Number two, sketch a graph. Number three, get the discriminant. Now what does, what does negative implies? Negative means that the whole graph, the whole graph is below x-axis. Basically, the graph is in the negative y region. Okay, let me do a sketch. This is the x-axis. So the graph is purely below the x-axis. This is called the negative y-axis region. Should the graph be a happy face or should the graph be a sad face? We're going to use common sense. U-shaped graph basically will grow upwards. N-shaped graph will grow downwards. If you use common sense, the graph must be N-shaped, must be a set face. For a set face, it will then be below x-axis, the whole curve below x-axis. So this cannot be a happy face. It must be a set face. Now, since the graph is below the x-axis, there's no contact point between the curve and the x-axis. Because there's no contact point, I expect the coefficient, I expect the discriminant to be less than zero. One more time, since there is no contact point between the curve and the x-axis, your discriminant must be less than zero. This is your case three in your notes. Okay, discriminant must be less than zero. We're going to get the ABC first. You can see right now that your right hand side is not zero. So you cannot get the ABC right now. You've got to shift all the terms to the left hand side first. As of now, I can see 1x squared and 1x. Then you'll be very clear cut.